brand new this week from Vinco, tetrahedron in cage, bunch of balls on sticks, make a shape inside the cage. Only three pieces. But you think that's amazing? We got the icosahedron 252, 72 pieces, way bigger. You got to see it. It's at the end of the episode. Won't even fit on the table. Welcome to today's episode. Again, uh, Chuck's Tony's fill-in, so puzzle time with Chuck and Tyler. Tony's going to be my fill-in down the road. <laughs> <laughs> taking his job. So today we've got some new stuff from Vinco. Uh, got a couple here and then a big surprise later on from Vinco. And then a couple uh, models. So um, let's jump into... What do you want to do? Whatever. I don't even know what's here yet. Let's let's show the let's grab this mini box. Okay. Q one point five. Grab oh, I messed mine here. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. This is we're gonna start with the hard one. Well, Ooh. not quite the hardest one. So level five. <laughs> level five. <laughs> level five on the Vinco scale. This is level <laughs> ten on the Puzzle Master scale. Now I don't. Oh. I don't. It's a packing puzzle and it's small, so like it doesn't. It it, it seems too like the, the level's too hard, but. Oh, know. you did you figure it out already? I didn't, even, oh. I, didn't, I haven't opened it, but just on initial inspection of this, I'd be careful. Though. I know that's why I was really going. You can see how it just kind of covery. Oh, let's leave one in and let's just crack this one. Open. Okay. So, intro. First off, it's an interesting design on the box. Like the I like that. Like, yeah. Great. Right? Mm -hmm. so it's kind of cool. Neat stuff there, and like it's well built, like Vinco stuff. It's not not Pelican, but it's it's good. One thing I like about wood, puddle, wood puzzles always have a nice feel to them. They've always got this, I'm not sure what it is, but there's yeah. always some kind of nice feel to wood puzzles. Absolutely. I think this, this is mini box Q 1.5 tray two. There's actually a tray one. Oh, okay. Cause there is like, so that's a tray one's an older puzzle. This one just came out. So like, I literally don't want to take this apart, but there's oh yeah. some triangular pieces. They look to be the same. The Those same. two look very similar. Yeah. Oh, but they're not. Look. Oh, so they're yeah. all. You can kind of. Oh, see. they're all kind of like that. That. Yeah. So it's triangles inside of triangles, and so I, I can see why. You did it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You did it. Yeah, just, just so good at puzzles. I <laughs> throw it around, but uh, let's try not drop this because I, I just don't want to have to put this back together. It's difficult. Much out of much out of like far, hard, far, harder and farther than we want to go in in today's episode, but. Like with all the Vinco puzzles, it does show you the uh, solution in here. So. so you have to pack it and put it in the box? Like, or sorry, make it a box and put it in? Like, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah, yeah. You just yeah. pack it into the box. Right. So like, just dump it out and mess it all up. That's yeah, yeah. Do, but. So yeah, it's mini box Q 1.5 tray 2. Uh, next is Tetra Tetrahedron in cage. Oh. Also not easy. Um, kind of like um, Tower of London. Tower of London, yeah, yeah. yeah. So this is a level eight. Um, we did the Tower of London Rumble. Me and Chuck played around with it a bunch. So let's take this one out. I haven't played with it a whole bunch or anything. And it's interesting because I just uh, took footage from episode 11 and posted it on Facebook. It's coming up or it was today. Yeah. And it was all the cage puzzles that yeah, you and I Tony talked yeah, about. Yeah. yeah. And there's a, so many cage puzzles. They're really yeah. cool. So, so this is interesting. This is not from the guys who do the stuff in cage puzzles. It's right. From Vinco. But it is, uh, yeah, it's it kind of right. Yeah. The cage puzzle and like Tower of London combined into one puzzle. So I don't, I don't know. You have oh, to make. They're, they're stuck together. Yeah. They're, they're not all separate. Like Tower separate. of London, all no. the balls are separate. No, all the balls are not separate in this. So it does. Yeah. It's weird. It's a weird one. It just, it's loose. Like the balls don't come out of the cage and, uh, oh, they, yeah, these ones wouldn't, wouldn't. Yeah. Yeah. It so, does. so it does, it does come with a solution though. So there is a solution in here. Um, and the make inside a tetrahedron. So. It looks like you have to make like a triangle shape, like a 
right. three-dimensional triangle or whatever you call it. I guess it's called a tetrahedron. Is that what that's called? That's Yeah, because the other one, we the Tower of London, I think, well, I shouldn't say it because it's part of the solution. But, <laughs> but so, yeah. Very similar. So you make a triangle shape in here. And obviously, so like your the ball is going to, each corner, like the, the triangle is going to stick out the... Oh, it would stick out? It, it kind of sticks out like that, right? I would imagine like that, like that, not like all the way. Right. But like you kind of have a bit of like the ball coming out the edge, right? So I imagine that oh, that's yeah. what's going to happen. Yeah, that's, that's neat. And it's like we were saying, if you like this one, um, Power of London from Rumble, very similar in idea, kind of. Um, I like it, actually. It's yeah, neat. It's and good. again, really cool feel because it's wood. It's got that solid feel yeah. to it. It's not a lot of finish. Some of the other Rumble stuff has a, like a heavier gloss to it. This is more just feels like it's like nicely sanded. I don't even yeah. know if there's an actual finish on any of this, really. Looks like... Or at least it's very light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that's cool. Uh, unique one. New from Vinco. Tetrahedron in cage. I think the next one. Let's let's save the next, uh, next Vinco one for last. Okay. I want to save the big one for last. So we're going to jump away from Vinco right now and then we'll come back the Vinco for the the big finale. The big finale. But uh big quote big, big. Oh yeah. So these are mechanical models. So you grab that one. You got the car. And I've got the oh. chopper. So I guess the speedster. speedster. Speedster V2. So you guys have seen U Gears um stuff. I did a video, a couple of videos on U Gears way long time ago. Uh, the U Gears treasure chest and the U Gears safe. One of your one of the biggest views we have on YouTube is from that yeah, video, right? People seem to like that yeah. uh, that that treasure chest one. So I put it together. Um, they're all it's like those wooden models, right? Where you're like pushing the the pieces out of like a flat, I don't know, board. And so that's what this is. But these have an extra twist on them in that there's acrylic pieces. So if you look real close, let's hold it up here, maybe on the top camera, but you can see like the motorbike has all this acrylic in here, which really is like a cool highlight to the wood. I think it really looks neat. I have not put one of these together yet. They just came in. Um, there's another company called NKD that does some like really not so uh, like cube things. I think, I think Chris did one. Oh, okay. Yeah, the same kind of thing. You put them together, and then and then you actually have to take them apart. Like there's a yeah, yeah, they're crazy. So this is, um, what does yours say now? So, two hundred and eleven parts. Yours has four hundred. Oh, quite a bit parts. more. So double. All, and I bet yours is bigger too. I don't know. If there's an actual is there a measurement on. And here? no glue. Oh, yeah, right here. Here's the measurement in millimeters. Oh yeah, okay. So metric there. So yours is like twice as wide. A bit, a little just a bit, bit longer. longer. Yeah. Yeah. Height's about the same too. Yeah. And yeah. there's no glue. You'll see no glue, yeah. no glue on there. Yeah. So I don't know if the like uh, the uh, U Gear stuff. They would um, you get a candle and you were like supposed to dip something in wax because these actually move. Oh. There. Uh, where is it here? It shows on the back. Yeah, it uh, says working. Flat coil spring motor working mechanism runs up to five meters. Yours is three meters. So yours doesn't go quite as far. Oh, that's cool. But really cool. So like it works. It's not only a model, but it actually like yeah. literally will run. Which is crazy to me, like the engineering on stuff like this, man. Like, how do you? This is obviously designed on a computer. It's pretty it's awesome. A genius. <laughs> it kind of, you kind of want to open up and try playing with, it. but again, that would take hours. Yeah, it's not. I, it doesn't look like there's a time on here. Oh, and they're made in the Ukraine. Oh yeah, look at that. That's cool. That. Yeah, that's really cool. So and really they have neat. a website too. I think it said on here. Vetermodels.com. Vetermodels if you want to see more about yeah, them. Yeah, they probably have more more options and mm -hmm. like. If you guys like this stuff, man, like when stuff sells on Puzzle Master's website, we get more of it in. So check it out on there and uh, yeah, beat our models. And if we do sell out, one good thing on the website, again, I mentioned, I think I mentioned last time, you can actually put in your email, I think, right? Yeah. And then you can get notified when that puzzle comes back in. And then it's just a mad dash to who can get That's right. Website. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so we send them out, but we don't reserve, right? So you no. have to pay attention to it's those emails. It's not a reservation, again. but it's a notification that when it comes That's in. right. So watch all the Puzzle Master emails or look for them, read them thoroughly, because that's where you'll know when puzzles are out or new puzzles come in and it's it's not like things are mass produced in this in industry very much so you got to get on those emails yeah if you don't sign up for emails you got to do that now that's right so let's put the veter models aside um let's jump into aaron's anomalies now let's let's see okay, sure, one, sure. one more step back <laughs> just another minute we gotta wait I, I just want to touch this thing <laughs> <laughs> it looks so cool so uh let's just cut to aaron's anomalies enjoy this episode
Okay, welcome to Aaron's Anomalies. Aaron, what do you got for us today? Oh, we got keyholes. Keyholes. This is a level seven on the Puzzle Master difficulty scale and it's manufactured by Rommel. Rommel. So it's a level, you said seven? Yep. And so I noticed that a bunch of the pieces move. What do you got to do? So typically anywhere you drop it down, it should kind of open. Some of these might be sticky, just yeah. Okay. So once it's open like that, you can just drag this piece out. And then okay. all of these pieces are exactly the same. What? Yep. Wow. Let's see this. I don't believe it. There you go. Yep. Six pieces all exactly the same. <laughs> wow. So you end up having to build this one in three parts. How do you know what the or two parts? How do you know what the ori orientation is when you put them in? Uh, so that's a good question. <laughs> so typically, I just uh, you just start sho shoving just about yeah it all together. Yeah. So more or less, I'm looking to have a piece that looks like this at the end. So I have this side okay, piece. So sideways going into this, which is pointing, We're to pointing the down. Okay. So in, and then the bottom one will be pointing out. So the bottom, bottom one's out yep. coming up. Okay. And then we'll just build the reverse of that. Okay. So to be just to make it confusing for you, I'll start the opposite. And then piece. down. Yep. Into the bottom. Okay. And then this piece this is coming from the side. Yeah. Side to yeah. back. Okay, and that's making essentially, yeah, there it is, the mirror image of each other. Yep. So now we rotate this so that it's now the top and this is the bottom. Right, so this is how it's going to go. And we put it like that. Okay. And then we'll just... Uh, you kind of like pull this one apart a bit maybe? Yeah, you kind of push the two, the bottom and the top, so it kind of spreads. Okay, now I'm, I think I'm spreading it the wrong way. Which way? So that where it connects to the bottom. Spread that down. Okay, hold on. There. That goes down. Yep, okay. you got it. And it does the exact same on the reverse. So then that part goes down. So they're both down like that. Yep. And then you put one and on then, top of the other. Ah, uh, there you go. I see. So this is the part where it kind of like all... All synchronizes together. Synchronize and folds in. That's awesome. Yeah, that's neat. Huh. I'm not sure that it's terribly difficult. I think level no. seven's a fair assessment. But again, Rommel makes nice stuff. It's like it's got nice finishes on the wood, and oh yeah, that's, that's a neat solution. That's I a like cool it. solution too. And it's really neat. Like it's unique that everything's the same piece. Yep, that's cool. Okay, I like that. It's called keyholes, and it's six pieces. Yep, six pieces, right? You got it. Huh? That's a good one. Keyholes from uh, from Rommel. Okay, so that was Aaron's Anomalies. Hopefully you enjoyed that episode. Now, drum roll for the big one. The big Vinko puzzle release. And, oh, don't drop it. This thing falls apart. Uh oh <laughs> We're in a lot of I'll trouble. Pick, once you pick it up, I'll move the box okay. out of the way. Da, 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 da. I'll take this out, maybe. Okay, so In I'm going to set it down very carefully. because It feels like the stuff is minorly shifting oh, when you pick it. it up. So go ahead, Chuck. This. Oh, it's actually heavy. <laughs> it is. It's heavy. So this is the... Oh, man. It is, the name's a mouthful again, too. Icosahedron 252. So this is brand new Vinco. This is the biggest Vinco puzzle I've seen. I don't know if they have a bigger one. It's 70, 72 pieces. And now if you look here, so this is, this is kind of the pieces here. You can see... There's 12 of those, 12 of those, 12 of those. But it's not all rods with like a ball on each end. There's a square, six square rectangles. These, uh, whatever that is, four and four in a square. There's a double short, whatever they call that. So that's, uh, that's how the, the pieces are. So that's 72 total pieces. I'm assuming, now it's called, like I said, it's called like Cosahedron 252. I assume the 252 is the amount of balls. Maybe. I'm not 100% yeah. sure about that. You do the math. As you know, naming is kind of different in the puzzle world. Yeah. So yeah. So who knows? But it's uh, I imagine icosahedron is the shape. 
Yes, and I think, watch, I was going to do something in a second, but first I want to say the reason why we're all so careful with it, because I think one came apart once, uh, half the size, yeah. and they could, with the instructions, which come with come with it, they could not do it. Yeah. Or it, it took them hours and hours I to do know. it. I don't know, Al tried to do it. Okay, now, there is, there is a, the solution, but you're looking at one, two, three oh, yeah. pages. Three pages of solution, double-sided. So, well, actually two pages, sorry. Two pages, double-sided. Like They're not easy to put I can, together. I can even show you here, and it's not going to work. It's not going to help you at all. Like, no, that's this right, is yeah. Nuts. This puzzle is on another level. What I'd like to know is, like, if you were buying this puzzle, would you take it apart? <laughs> I'd probably um, leave it as a display piece, or yeah. you know what you'd have to do in a space where you have to come back to it? I'm sure you can't oh. do this in a short period of time. But, but here's the thing, can you even come back to it? Could you, like... Oh, because it would not you, rest? I don't know, would it, would it hold well together? Like, yeah. Like, you look at some of this, like... I don't know, do would you have to, be like, freestanding? Get some series of elastics, like, hold it all together, and then... And then if you have a cat, forget it, they're gonna knock oh, everything yeah. off the table. Oh, so... Let's just leave that here, hey? Just, yeah. just, don't, don't move it anymore. Let's just, leave it. let's just leave it in the shot yeah. for the rest of the show. Yeah. Let's jump into the... Yeah, uh, let's jump into the online buzz. So we have our new... Uh, I need a little graphic the and sound. Online buzz. Uh, yeah, online buzz. What do we got? We got. Oh, I was watching. So, I was watching a channel uh, by a guy, a guy named Maker's Muse. So he does 3D printed stuff. Um, not always puzzles. Like he's a lot of. Uh, what does he do? They, they call them. It's these things that roll. I forget what they call them. Balls? No, it's like it's, it's, odd, it's odd shapes like this, but then you oh, roll them and they oh. like roll in different patterns. Oh, that's I forget, cool. I forget what the name is for it, but he he like three D prints these things. Yeah. So uh, I watched. He had an episode that really caught my eye. It was called um, "Can Wild Parrots Solve Puzzles?" So uh, he lives in I think it's Australia, and they have parrots all around. So they have cockatoos. So uh, in the episode, he three D prints a puzzle for the cockatoo that like comes onto his ledge uh, his apartment and he 3d prints it and then the the cockatoo does the puzzle no way it's nuts so what he builds is this it's like a little maze that has a, a channel goes up and then another one goes up the other way and then up the other way and so in that maze, and then at each corner in each intersection there's like a peg that he puts through and then he drops seeds into the top oh. of it. and then the outside so there's two pieces that come on the outside uh -huh. of that and they're clear acrylic so the cockatoo can fly in sit on the ledge he, he secures it to the ledge and then the cockatoo has to figure out to pull these pegs out and the seeds drop down to the next level and then he pulls another peg out and the seeds drop and come out the bottom and then he can eat them and so he does he has this one-eyed no cockatoo way. that comes onto his his ledge and it solves it that is cool. at first he said it's got one eye because it's like all scared and uh -huh. so then he like it, it's not I'm not sure at first and then eventually but eventually it figures out like it pulls it out and then it drops it. it's nuts you gotta watch this it's like that game you 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 put in the pegs and you try to release one i think it's a game they call that we have one at home it's an old style game like okay. a board game style yeah, yeah and you put balls in it and you have to pull the pins out it's kind of like kind of like that like kerplunk i think is what you're thinking yeah that might be it yeah straws yeah that's it yeah, yeah, yeah. it just has one though so it's yeah same that idea. is cool it's really neat kerplunk though. for birds and then he has a second cockatoo that comes in and does it too and then uh so this led me into this whole funnel of like animal solving <laughs> oh really oh my goodness if you want to waste some time on youtube i watch squirrels cats crows <laughs> that's hilarious puzzles. the crows is actually really cool yeah i've seen that one before that's awesome but animal solving puzzles man there's uh there's something you can check out but makers news his, his video is really good actually i like it because he explains it all he 3d prints it shows you how he puts it together um at one point actually the one of the bolts is black at the bottom and the coffee dude thought it was like a seize with big truck. oh no way but yeah so it was cool um, so yeah, Makers Muse, check them out. Uh, Chris Ramsey has another one, uh, something unique that he did recently. Um, so Chris is usually doing puzzles. He actually did something a little while ago where he had a, a Haniyama puzzle and you could buy the puzzle ahead of time because he, he gave you like three or four weeks to do it. And then you could solve the puzzle on video with him as he's right. solving it. So that's kind of cool. So he's got another one out um, where he just, uh, he got this repeating animation of him uh, solving I think it's actually one of those NKD puzzles that I was talking about the through the boxes and it's an animated thing of him just kind of playing around with it um, 
and it's a repeating loop and it's just uh it's called chill beats to relax and solve puzzles too so it's got this like cool like, oh. beat then and the idea is that you just play this in the background as you solve your puzzle yeah I'm like hey that's a cool that's idea different so if you're looking for something chris has this it's got a neat animation you can throw up on your screen and it kind of gets you maybe into the zone of solving puzzles and you sit down in your room or wherever you are and play this music so i really like that I thought it was that's neat unique. that's unique. very different yeah, yeah it's for sure like Chris is always on the cutting edge of things. And I think it's because of that, man. Like he just does stuff that's different. Yeah. Cool. And he's, he's trying to promote the puzzle world heavily. Right. And it's, it's, it's awesome. Yep. The more people to play, the better. Yeah, exactly. And then, uh, there's another new guy, uh, named Cubastic. I don't, I don't know how new he is to puzzles. He does. I think he's more like a Cuber guy, but mm-hmm. he's gone into puzzle stuff like the kind of mechanical puzzles, I guess you want to call them. He did uh, something though. Uh, it was a Rubik's cube, but I'm not usually into Rubik's cubes. But he uh, he, there's something called impossible objects. So it's something you look at initially, and you're like that is impossible. So there's ones where like there's screws through or nails through pieces of wood that are cut up. Um, Will Stribos does those like dovetail ones, right? They're, like those look they're impossible objects. It looks like initially it's impossible. He put a Rubik's cube inside of a glass jar. And no. obviously the Rubik's cube is too big to come out the jar. And so he shows you how he does it. And he, he kind of, I, I, you know, I mean, you, you can figure it out, right? He takes the Rubik's cube apart and then piece by piece puts it in the jar. Oh, that's neat. But yeah. it's interesting because initially he does it and then he can't, he has chopsticks to maneuver the pieces and he can't do it because they're like flopping around in the glass. So he puts rice in the bottom, uncooked rice in the bottom. And then they like holds the pieces in place and he can like maneuver them a little bit, like very precisely. Yeah. So it's cool. Oh, that's kind of like, neat. Yeah. Does it. And then at the end he has the Rubik's cube yeah. inside this like mason jar. Oh, that's right? neat. Yeah. So I like that. Uh, yeah. So impossible, impossible object you can make at home if you have a cube and a, a jar. Yeah. And then uh, lastly, I was going to talk about a TikTok. Uh, I don't know if it's a guy or I think it's a company. It's NKD Puzzle. So uh, NKD Puzzle. We talked. I, I told you about that. They have those crazy uh, 3D models. Yeah. This is their TikTok page. So they have a oh awesome TikTok page, and they show you a bunch of different uh, videos on there. They don't have a huge line of puzzles, but they're really good. I think they're kind of higher end expensive versions of like stuff like this where you can they're flat packed and you, you put them together. But they're not so NKD puzzle is their uh, handle on Twitter. Or TikTok's TikTok. TikTok's a big platform is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Despite the threat of shutdowns, people are still using it. Yeah. But uh, there's lots of cool things on TikTok. If you haven't checked out the app and it's really cool because it's uh a very quick way to uh, to use content or view it. Yeah, it's just like absolutely. swipe, 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 swipe. So it's very quick, quick. I don't even think they're very long. So it's kind of a fun platform. So it'll be really interesting, interesting to see more and more puzzle people. And I think we have another one coming up that we've that might be doing some puzzles on there. It'll be interesting to see how they use the platform because YouTube, you've got the time to talk to everybody. Facebook's pretty long too, but yeah. TikTok's just like. Yeah, it's how are they going to make like, it cool? Yeah, it's like a it's a Chinese thing, eh? Like, it's, it's owned Chinese, by a Chinese owned, company. Chinese company. Uh, but the 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 usage is all over the world, of course. Yeah. But um, and it's gets it's getting bigger. And the big thing is they're letting a lot of people get a lot of reach really quickly. So it's it's just an interesting platform, uh, and even just to watch it because everything's so quick and yeah. and it's uh, yeah, it's it's kind of like uh, Instagram where you can connect to a bunch of different people. Like Facebook, you have to sort of. We have to like each other to sort of connect, but this opens up the whole world to people yeah. all over the place doing all. It's not just a dancing platform. People, it's growing it's really more into unique. other things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you got, I've gotten into it a little bit. Puzzle Master does have some stuff on mm-hmm. that's super active. We have a few videos. It's mostly just Aaron like solving puzzles really fast. Right. So uh, we'll grow. It. We'll grow it. Yeah, exactly. yeah, we'll grow it. Yeah. So check us out on TikTok, on Facebook, on YouTube. Check out our webpage. Subscribe to our newsletter. Instagram. Uh, Instagram. Chuck is always he, Chuck's the Instagram guy here, and uh, yeah, so check us out on those. And uh, what's what should be your question? Oh, I was gonna say, do you have a question this week? Yeah, like we kind of asked a question. Like, let's just go back to this. If you guys bought this puzzle, the what is it called again? Icosahedron. Icosahedron two fifty two. Would you take it apart, or would you just keep it together and enjoy the beauty? and the uh, huge size of something so amazing. My prediction is I think you might want to, my prediction is you want to stare at it for a little bit, but I think most people, I think, are going to say I'd take it apart. What yeah. do you think? I figure if you're buying it, if you're dropping the coin to get yeah. this, you're the kind of person who wants to take it apart. Yeah, that's true. That's true, yeah. So, yeah. 
but you never yeah. know. You, you never, never know, know, right? What, oh. It's cool that once you hold it, it's like, man, this is cool. Like I, I don't like these ones. You know, just empty it and try it. This one's so different, the feel it's to it. You don't up. really want to let go and and make I it go apart. I know it's it's really neat and unique. So, yeah, let us know in the comments. Would you take this puzzle apart if you bought it? <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. See you. See you next time.